The Golden Coin. Sam went to the market. His dad gave him a few coins to buy food. There were also people selling cloth and jewels. I'd like some bread and five eggs, please. That will be eight coins, young man. That was all he had because his family was poor. His two younger sisters and his mother could eat that. Sam looked at the old man who was in front of him. He was wearing a red robe and had a cane. He saw something fall from his pocket. It was a golden coin. The Middle Ages were a historical period that began with the fall of the Roman Empire and ended with the discovery of the Americas or the invention of the printing press. Medieval cities were characterized by having a castle, big walls, and fortresses. Sam picked up the coin. He thought of all the things he could buy with it. When he sees him, the butcher asks, Would you like a bit of meat? A chicken, maybe? Sam didn't know what to say. He looked at the people selling blankets. His mother needed a blanket. Was that the right thing to do, though? Something was telling him no. In medieval markets, Townspeople could buy and trade food, grains, spices, fabrics, jewels, and much more. Peasants sold goods from the fields and animals. There were also activities like music, theater, and painting. Sam made a decision. He ran up to the old man and called to him. Excuse me, sir. You dropped this coin. Thank you. You did the right thing. Can I ask you for a favor? I have to bring this letter to the palace, but I'm very old. Very old and very tired. Could you take it? You mustn't open it. Sam nodded yes and took the letter. To get to the palace, he'd have to cross the forest. Walls were constructions made of stone to protect cities and castles. They were also used to separate territories or to make borders. They had watchtowers, which were built to watch out for any enemies trying to climb over the walls. A castle is a kind of construction that was very characteristic of the Middle Ages. They were protected by walls and sometimes by a surrounding moat. Kings and nobles lived there. Castles also had a military function to defend cities. The forest was dark. Sam approached the Fountain of Temptations. There, there was a statue that could speak. I'm sorry, I hadn't seen you. I'm in a hurry. I have to take this letter to the royal palace. That's so interesting. What does the letter say? I don't know. They told me I can't open it. It must be very important. It could be a treasure map or the ingredients for a potion to cure a disease. Why don't you open it? What if the statue was right? The letter could be the solution to problems. Sam decided to open the envelope. Suddenly, the letter burst into flames. He couldn't read it. The old man appeared at his side. He was sad. I'm sorry, the statue tricked me and I opened the letter. That letter would have given you a big surprise. What a shame. You're not the person I was looking for. Since Sam had given him back the coin, the old man gave him some food as a reward. Even so, 
he went home sad because he had failed him. Sam looks at the letter and decides not to open it. He'd given the old man his word. He continued along his path until he reached the royal palace. He went to see the king. Welcome, Sam. I believe you have a message for me. Yes, your majesty. The old man told me it was very important. The king took the letter from Sam. He was very pleased because Sam had kept his promise not to open the envelope. Sam, I am an old king and have no children. I have been searching for someone good, good and honest like you. You are that person. I hereby name you my heir. You will be the new king. Sam was a good and honest boy. He demonstrated it by giving the old man back the coin and by delivering the letter to the king in a closed envelope, just like he promised. If you want to learn more, click on more videos and subscribe to the Smile and Learn channel and you'll stay up to date with new adventures.